Welcome back to Rocker's Beer Review and today we're going to dr start drinking the, some of the beers from the Beer 52 July 2020 box which is themed this month on the Netherlands. So the first beer we're going to try is this one because I just really love the artwork for this. This is a Yuljit which is probably the wrong pronunciation, Brewing Company. Um, there is a Juicy Pale Ale coming in at 5.2%. Uh, it's called Track Down. Um, obviously it's in a 330ml can, but look at the art, beautiful artwork, you know, cartoons. Uh, they do a few different beers, uh, this brewery, and um, they use this sort of cartoony sort of um, artwork, so that's pretty good. Um, so let's get this beer out of the can and into a glass, shall we? So, Dutch beer. Um, probably, you know, I've not really tried much Dutch beer. My only experience with really Dutch beer is the sort of thing like, you know, a Heineken from, you know, when you can go to the Heineken factory uh, there. So, the Hiram Brewery even, not factory. Um, so, there we go, pouring out. It's a beautiful, hazy, yellowy, looks pretty good. I mean, there's quite a lot of action going on with them bubbles there. You've got a, a one finger head, very yellow, hazy coloured, quite high levels of carbonation you can see the bubbles all rising up here from the bottom here all the way up there very fast moving um so we expect this to be quite a juicy fruity sort of beer so shall we uh let's get the aroma shall we yeah really fruity pineapples mango a little bit of passion fruit peach they're, they're the real strong fruits on this one. Um, so, you know, it's a pretty typical sort of um, fruity IPA. Um, let's give it a taste, shall we? Cheers, everyone. Very, very carbonated. It's... It really sort of dances around in your in your mouth there. Real fruity. Uh, let's get another drink. Let's drink that. The carbonation was so powerful; it's almost like dispersed all the all the flavour. Very very light in terms of its body. Um, almost sort of fizzy lagerish. You got some. You got pineapples. You got passion fruit, ma mango, bit of grapefruit coming in. Not huge amounts of bitterness. Quite dry on the back end, but not not overly bitter. You can see the head is starting to go there now. Let's just see if we can get that a bit lively. But it's um, it's a real crisp, summery drink. Yeah, I mean. There's a there's an element of dryness and actually a little bit of bitterness is coming back in into the, there on the back end there, but very fruity, pineapples, grapefruits, a little bit of lemon and lime in there as well. You know, and a lovely little example. It, it certainly looks the part there. Let's uh, let's pour a little bit more out of there. Looks like a, a tropical smoothie. Um, you see there we've got a lovely head, beautiful bright yellow colours. Probably a little bit bit too much carbonation for me, really. But I think on a hot summer's day, you're going to cut through that like a you know a hot knife through through butter. Um, really great. So let's get some scores in, shall we? Okay, the scores are in for this track down which is a Juicy Pale Ale coming at 5.2% in a 330ml can. And this is from the, well, if you can pronounce that, Yujiti. Yujiti? Yujiti. We'll call it Yujiti, but it's probably completely different. Obviously, this is a du uh, Dutch beer. And let's get the scores in, shall we? So, aroma. Tropical, pineapple, grapefruits, you know, very sort of, uh, you know, typical of this type of beer. Giving it a 13 out of 20 for aroma. Uh, appearance, well, I mean, it looks beautiful. It's a lovely yellow. You've got a sort of head that sort of, you know, laces the glass a little bit there. Not not massive, doesn't keep itself massively throughout the drink. Uh, but I'm giving it an 8 out of 10 for appearance, just because a beautiful yellow colour. Um, Flavour. Yeah, it's it's really nice, fresh, juicy. You know what 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 a beer should be like, really. 
the carbonation is a little bit higher and that gives it that drops marks for me um there is a slight bitterness there not overly powering bitterness but there is a slight bitterness there so i'm giving it a 31 out of 40 for flavor value for money well i mean difficult with these these are three quid cans if you work it out it's eight cans for 24 pounds through beer 52 but you know because it is foreign because you're probably not going to be walk into your local bottle shop and be able to find this I know, i'm giving it a seven out of ten for this one for for value for money um overall experience well i quite enjoyed it i mean it's a shame it's not a hot sunny day today because i think this is the sort of beer you could sit and drink quite a few of these very fresh very fruity easy to drink I'm giving it a 13 out of 20 for overall experience. So we top them scores up and we get a 72 out of 100. So it's a white snake beer. Pretty good, recommended beer. If you see this, give it a try. You can't miss it with this artwork, beautiful. So until the next video, keep on rocking.